Hi everybody, welcome to another uh, Mets360.com box break. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at something a little different, <clears throat> a little unique from Topps, um, and that is 2013 Topps Mini Baseball. Um, Topps introduced this concept last year, um, <clears throat> and what it is is it's uh, an online-only version of the regular <clears throat> top set, the full top set, so 660 cards um, in mini form. So it uh, sort of harkens back to the to the 1975 Topps mini uh, test issue. Um, the difference being, I think you get an either an autograph or, uh, or a relic, um, <clears throat> and some uh, sort of low-numbered multicolor parallel cards. So we'll take a look and see what we get here. Again, <clears throat> 660 players available, so much like 1975, where you open a pack and get a lot of Reggie Cleveland's and Rick Wise cards. Um, there'll be a preponderance of middle-level players, let's say. Um, and again, it's really the, the 2013 uh, set in mini form. So, just as a, an example here is a Daniel Murphy from the regular 2013 top set. And here is, to even him up there, here is a Jeff Neiman from the mini set. So it's maybe, I don't know, 30% smaller. Um, <clears throat> I think the 75 mini test set was an effort by Tops to see if they could reduce their paper costs. Um, and if the market would bear uh, a smaller product um, <clears throat> didn't really take off, but they're they're fun to open. Um, I mentioned the the parallels, and right off the bat here we have one, um, and this is a pink Brett Gardner, um, and the pink parallels are numbered on the back out of twenty five. This is five out of twenty five. So if you uh, happen to pull one of the the better players in, in pink form, um, you got something. Uh, what we have here is a Brett Gardner. So it's it's a nice looking card, but <clears throat> it is not going to pay for the box or anything. So we have 24 packs here. Um, as always, I will try to, to rip through these quickly and not drag you down with too many details. Here's a Bryce Harper. Um, I believe there are some printing plates and stuff that we're not likely to, to find in here. Um, I think there's a, a redemption for a, a Puig autograph, which uh, is probably very hard to find. Um, so little Familia. Looks like we might have another parallel here. Oh, this is the one uh, the one insert set that's been shrunk down and replicated for this set from the, the main set is Chasing History. Um, this is a Roberto Clemente, 3,000 hits. Of course, we all know off whom hit number 3,000 came. It's our own Jonathan Trimpdor Matalak. Mat Matalak. Matalak. Okay, so Pujols, and there is our quote-unquote hit for the box, and that is a John Danks gray jersey swatch. Congratulations, the card reads mockingly on the reverse. You have just received the certified mini relic card. Um, so there you go. My apologies to the Danks family for underselling the brilliance of that particular card. It, it kind of feels a little strange in your hands here to open up these these mini packs. Um, it makes me feel like a giant. Here's another Chasing History. This one is a Justin Verlander. Strikeout titles of which I assume he has more than one, given the name. Okay. 
not a whole lot of uh, Met action to date. And again, um, as I mentioned, you're, with 660 players, you are going to receive a lot of James Loney, Jason Marquis, Salvador Perez, Dominic Brown, Zach Cozart, Leaders Card, Alex Avila, Elvis Andres, Drew Stubbs, Jared Weaver, type packs. Um, so do not be frustrated by that profile. Um, it's just mathematically the way of the world. Um, we saw the pink parallel earlier, I believe, well, as if on cue, this is the gold parallel. This is the more common uh, color parallel, but still it is numbered out of 62. Um, so the, the print run overall on this set is um, appears to be significantly less than obviously the regular 2013 Pops issue. Um, <clears throat> I think we might see two or three of those old parallels in this box. Um, so it's a it's a fun little product. I think the initial enthusiasm when it's released is pretty high, um, and then you know more products come out and, and things calm down. Here's another gold, um, Joe Thatcher of the San Diego Padres. At least he was. I don't know where Mr. Thatcher resides now, perhaps still San Diego. And again, numbered out of 62. And there's a Johan Santana. So the distribution again is, is a little different than your typical Pops product. I think this year it was uh, previewed at the, the National Sports Collectors Convention um, and then made available for sale uh, through the Tops website. It's, uh, it's about $50 a box, um, which as these things go is, is not too bad. Um, again, when you have the potential for pulling some nice parallel cards, uh, it's a, a decent set. It's a Manny Machado rookie. It's a nice card. And we had a Lucas Duda. So we're about halfway through the box here. You might notice I'm wearing my vintage Cincinnati red shirt as a homage to 1975 um, and the 75 minis. Nothing spectacular there. So, so far I think what we've seen is probably a pretty representative experience of opening a box here. Um, it's fun, but you are going to see a lot of Carlos Marmol type players. And again, this is a gold, um, numbered out of 62. I believe there's a black parallel numbered out of five, um, which is obviously harder to pull, um, and a platinum uh, parallel that's one of one, um, and also I think there are the requisite printing plates um, available here. Ten cards per pack. Um, I hear there have been some collation challenges, so putting together a set by opening boxes is a bit of a, uh, a chore. Um, obviously you're only going to get <clears throat> somewhat less than 240 cards here. Um, so even without any duplicates in your box, you're uh, a little more than a third of the way toward a full set. Um, and obviously there's no guarantee that you're going to not see duplicates in your next boxes. There's a Mike Trout. Well, this is good. We got the Mini Murph. So we have regular size Murphy and mini size Murphy. And another Chasing History, uh, this time Rapid Robert Feller. Something about season strikeouts. All right.
Matt Garza, Drew Smiley, Ian Stewart of the Rolling Stones, Bruce Chen, Leaders Card, Yadier Molina, Jason Vargas, Delman Young, Luis Perez, and Jose Altuve. So there you go. That is a pack. Let's see if there's any star power in this one. Tyler Cloyd. Jason Grilly, Ryan Vogelsong, Ari Dickey as a Met. Um, I believe in this set that uh, he might have been in a Series 2 card uh, with the Blue Jays, but in Series 1 he was with the Mets, and he's got his perfect Ari Dickey Yarg face going. St. Louis Cardinals. Um, this pack just keeps on giving the Dickey. Another Dickey, um, an El Cy Young winner, and another <clears throat> gold parallel. I lost track of how many we got here, but that might be four or five, I guess. This is Jason Hamill, and numbered 42 out of 62. Once upon a time, cards numbered below 100 like that were kind of regardless of the player, were really uh, very well regarded and um, potentially very valuable. Uh, there is a Ryan Braun. Um, even the card is mini, the disgrace remains full size. Um, <clears throat> but here, you know, again, since as you've seen, I pulled four or five of them already, um, <clears throat> these extreme, well, I won't say extremely, but these low numbered parallel cards are, again, the demand is there for uh, some of your better players, but not necessarily for the Jason Hamels and such that we've pulled here. Uh, Dylan Bundy, Chasing History. Um, unfortunately, Dylan is chasing recovery. Um, <clears throat> and I say that with no sense of gloating or satisfaction at all, obviously with our Matt Harvey situation. It's a nice shot of Hunter Pence. Shows you choking up on the bat there. Stockus, classic Justin Verlander pose. Adam Jones, Mike, Matt McClough, and Phil Cook. And see the bottom of the box here. So I think we have another maybe four or five packs. Let's see if anything interesting happens. Got a Scott Hairston here. <clears throat> King Felix. It's a nice shot of David Day. He's being consumed by the Ivy. Cameron Mabin. In a Throwback Padres uniform, gotta love that. And Dustin Ackley. So we are literally scraping the bottom of the box here. And see what we get. Jake PV, wrong socks. Little Bobby Parnell. Wow. That is a that speaks to the effort of throwing a baseball 97 miles an hour. It's just not human. Speaking of which, Craig Kimbrell. Another chasing history here. <clears throat> Strasburg. Strikeouts per nine. Should Strasburg make at least 30 starts in 2013, he has a strong chance of becoming the first pitcher to average 11 strikeouts per nine innings in a career of 75 or more starts. The current record is 10.6 by Randy Johnson. Strasburg's strikeout rate has calmed down a bit this year. Um, still pretty impressive. All right, our final two packs here. Jerome Williams, Matt Carpenter, Yuri Perez, Adrian Gonzalez, Jeff Carstens, Franklin Gutierrez. Another Chasing History, 
Luke Moe, Mariano Rivera, saves record. Brock Holt, Tyler Clippard. And our final pack in the box. And I will actually give you a look at the pack here. It's got a montage of, uh, of folks there. I see uh, Mike Trout, Harper, Verlander, Posey, Clendon, I'm sure if that's Adam Jones. The usual suspects for 2013 product. And we have BJ Upton, Josh Hamilton, another Bryce Harper. I think there's two Bryce Harpers in this set. Um, this is card number one in the set. I'll have to go back and <clears throat> I think the other one was, was different. <sighs> Sometimes there are no words, and then sometimes there are words, and those words are D.D. Gregorius. I say again, D.D. Gregorius, followed by Jonathan, call me John, niece, Starling Castro, and Edison Volquez. So there you have it, uh, 2013 Pops Mini Baseball. I don't think... Uh, this is available anymore on the top site. Um, should you be interested, I think you can probably find it from on the secondary market from dealers, probably marked up a bit. Um, what you've seen here is, is probably along the lines of what you can expect. So uh, purchase accordingly if you like what you saw. If you're happy with the, the sort of, again, the middle tier uh, players. Um, Get some low number Jason Hamill, Carlos Marmol, Joe Thatcher, Gabby Sanchez type players. Um, John Danks uniform swatch and Brett Gardner pink parallel numbered again out of 25. Then by all means, take the plunge um, and enjoy. Thanks.